birth motorhomes, what do you think when you get two birth motorhomes, you think auto sleeper? Because that is a majority of what they do. So we have now got the auto sleeper Borton, which is a bit like a Nuevo sort of thing. It's the same sort of layout. It's got the bench seats at the front, but built on this Mercedes chassis, which has been so bloody popular, it's unreal. Now, the Borton, Borton on the water, as we all know, all auto sleepers are named after something down that neck of the woods. So we've got the Burford, named after the Burford, the Gloucester, and so on. That's where auto sleeper get the names. So what we have is, is this six and a half meter long Borton. As you can see, it is a 2020 model and it's built on the Mercedes cab. And this one comes with the premium pack, as we can see, nice little extras around, including that awning and so on. Other things we get is this locker for under the bench seats. We get another locker just below. That's something I really like about this. It's something so simple, but I wish all the manufacturers do this. You've got a couple of flaps here. One has got a picture of a barbecue. One has got a picture of an electric lead. So there's no guessing. There's no lifting up five flaps to work out which one's this. This one's your barbecue point. That one's your, your electric hookup lead. Nice and easy. What? Other manufacturers, listen, you need to do that. Little picture, that's all you need. Emoji, anything. And then moving back, we've got the Dometic vents and then this nice big habitation door with electric step just below. So now we're on the offside rear corner. We do have what is this tow bar at the rear, which is about another 1,500 pound added onto the list and the reversing camera at the top. To give you an idea of how much this would have cost new as 2020 with the tow bar, the premium pack, and the habitation aircon, which I'll get to shortly, is just short of 85,000 pounds. Premium pack, 4,000 pounds. Habitation aircon, another thousand odd pounds. And then you've got the tow bar as well. So moving on, we've got the cassette toilet, the electric hookup, Trum event, and then it's got a little picture on it, so I know what it is. We've got the TV and satellite aerial bit, and then we've got the whale water inlet. Again, nice old sleeper branded all around, green and browny blacky grey colours. And then we've got the leisure gas system and the water inlet. And as we continue around, we can also see we've got those nice classic silver Mercedes alloy wheels. And then it just looks so much better, this cab. The old one did start to look old, to be fair, been around for a very long time. Look at that, doesn't she look mean with those lovely headlights and that nice big Mercedes badge on the front. So this two berth motorhome it is a touch under six and a half metres and because it's a three and a half tonne chassis, it means anybody can drive it. You're just not restricted to anything and it's got a payload of around or just over 500 kilograms. So like I said, it is the classic end kitchen Nuevo sort of layout but we do have nice long single beds. So on your left, we've got one nice long bench seat with storage underneath. These do pull together in the middle and then you've got another one opposite. So it can either be used as two long singles or one nice double bed. We've got nice cupboards all the way through. We've got these lovely touch lights, touch lights quite literally, light into the side. What I do like about Auto Sleeper is it does stay classic to what it is. You know, there's a lot of things that I'm looking around in this motorhome and I think, yeah, that's pretty much how they were 15 years ago. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave that up to you. Nice little feature, which we saw on a, a Frankie shortly ago, uh, is this nice little light style. You do spin around and you just look a little bit more fancy than you think. So in the kitchen itself or the back end, the EK, whatever you want to call it, we do have lots packed in here. We've got, starting with, if I move this cushion, we have got this fold-up table for that extra little bit of workspace. I mean, this has got more workspace along with the kitchen itself, more than most motorhomes that you do get. Cupboard above, Russell Hobbs microwave, and then the classic auto sleeper feature, the lovely crystal style glasses, and it is proper glass as well, it's not plastic. Just put that back in there. Dometic fridge just below. It's only a small one, but it is a two berth, so you're not going to want to load it as well. Wardrobe and a bit more storage below. And then just above, 
we do have this nice Truma Aventa habitation aircon. That's the £1,000 extra I was talking about. Now, as the cameraman comes towards me, we do have a little bit more. We've got this control panel above with Truma iNet. And then the back in the kitchen itself, we do have what is the sink with hot and cold water, lots of storage above and below. And then as a spin round and dance nicely, we do have the three hob burner and hot plate and oven grill just below this area. And as I say, you've got nice cooker hoods and nice finish on the cupboards above. So as we head into the bathroom, what we have got starting with the left hand side is the cassette toilet, which moves into storage above across to the mirror that slides out the way for a bit more storage and then we've got the sink and shower now this unit does move around so it separates the toilet from the rest of the motorhome next we move into the cab now this is where the money is spent you have got options on the peugeot or the mercedes and also the fit as of this year for an automatic gearbox now part of the premium back is all of this you've got an automatic gearbox You've got all the steering wheel controls, the electric windows, the lovely vents that you see on this new Mercedes chassis, the sat nav, cruise control, the whole lot. It just looks absolutely beautiful. It is now the best looking cab out there for me. And then you've just got that nice reversing camera sitting just above. So with this motorhome, you've got two bits of quality. You've got one, the auto sleeper make, which is a nice sturdy make, everything put together well. And then you've got this nice Mercedes badge. These have sold like hotcakes this year. They've sold so many, so much so that they've about ran out and you can't get one from now until the spring. It's a lot of money, I've got to admit, for just under £85,000 for something like this. But if you want the size and everything like that with a Mercedes cab, it will probably be, be a very good option for you. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom press like obviously because you like me the motorhomes and everything that I show you here I hope to see you soon hey you made it to the end of the video please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews to find out more information you can go on our website www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com telephone us on 01283 240 237